last time we caught up with Anna, otherwise known as Glitter and Lasers. Big day. I'm going to know really for the first time in my life from a doctor what shoes hmm, I need to be rocking to, you know, keep rocking without injuring myself. But I will tell you cool things. My knees no longer hurt and my ankle no longer hurts. So this is all magical for me. Let's go. So I'm going to go through. Oh my goodness, Miss Anna. I still cannot believe it has been a solid year that you have been running and working on your weight loss journey and calling yourself a runner. And you have only just learned now. Well, we never know with your timelines, girl, but what you're showing your audience is that you were just realizing that you need to be kitted out with a decent pair of running shoes. And that picking a pair of shoes because they are pretty colors is not actually the goal of getting a good shoe that will prevent you from having injuries. And as I've always said, you need more than one pair, which I understand is something else that you learn during this visit. So that's kind of scary to think that you're out here with such a large audience giving such a wild advice. Um, but anyway, that was Anna's last uh, time that we saw her uh, in her running journey series. And that was her learning that you have to walk before you run. But uh, Anna is not going to be stopped, of course, because our girl over here, she is going to be doing a running journey. Still, and she's going to be running a 5k. It's time to run the 5k. So that's the video we're going to be reacting to today. But before I go ahead and bring up Miss Anna, let's just make sure that everybody knows that this is all just fair use. You know, we're just going to be giving some opinions. This is just commentary. It could be a little bit of roasting. Don't take it so seriously, everybody. It's just sarcasm. It's the lowest form of wit often. And uh, obviously, though, I do, as a registered nurse, want to make sure that everybody is taking care of their mental health out there. And so, obviously, because it's Anna and it's about weight loss, if you do find topics around weight loss, anything to do with general health topics, anything to do with those things, and sometimes Anna talks about her uh, emotional health too, um, I do recommend that you uh, maybe think about whether or not you want to continue with this video, though it is going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys. And again, I always want to say, leave me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't had a chance. We're really growing a great community and I have some fun things coming up. But before we get any further, let's just bring up Miss Anna. Let's get her up here. Let me, let me take a look at her over here. I'm going to share the screen down real small and we're just going to get into this journey. I'm excited. Let's go. I have always been told I can't run. I know I'm not going to be fast. Uh, I know that I'm not going to win. I think I'm going to really struggle. If I'm honest with myself, I think it's going to be maybe harder than I want to admit. It's just. I feel that her using the word run is obviously clickbait because she does not run. Anna is unable to get her feet fully up off the ground and actually run. So she walks at the fastest pace she possibly can and she moves her arms much more rapidly in a running sort of jog motion. Um, I think it's her arms that are probably doing more than anything. Um, but because she's got that arm swing going, I think she likes to call it a run. And people have said to me, I shouldn't be here being harsh on her and trying to end her, her journey here uh, and give her more support. But I always want to preface that she's extremely heavy. She looks like she's actually gaining weight, not losing weight. Running is not going to have her take down calories as she thinks it is. She's just has this goal for some reason. 
and she's more likely to do harm to herself physically, like her knees and her joints that will need replacements and so forth. And it's really painful. It's nothing to laugh about. And I think that supporting somebody who should be doing things like walking or lo very low impact and thinking more about her diet and not eating a ton of ultra processed nonsense that she's always showing to her audience. The snack boxes were ridiculously ultra processed foods with high amount of calories and very little real food nutrition and anything that would be beneficial to the body. So I think Anna really you should focus on getting a registered dietitian to your house and learning how to eat correctly and and, and call this a walk. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> It's freeing. It's freeing to do something that people tell you is impossible to prove that you can do this like super hard thing. I think that success for me is just doing it. Fumble a bag. Now I would not fumble a bag. Fumble a bag. Now I would not fumble a bag. Act like you know how this goes. All I can see is her poor leg joints. That's all I see. I think this is just not where she should be focusing her attention. Why don't you try to eat properly? Because you're never going to lose the weight that you think during running. I think this is really bad advice to give people. I think there's a lot of other things that you could be doing with weights in your arms and showing people how you protect your body at a larger size than trying to show that this a larger size body should be doing things that could potentially harm your skeletal body. I think that's really harmful. And I'm sorry if people find it difficult for me to hear that as a medical professional, but that's just how I view this. And that's what evidence would show. And so those supporting her, I think they're just doing that in order to get their name out and she's got a large audience. But I think that is really bad advice and they should have told her something else. I, I, I just can't support this in some ways. And I have been a runner my whole life too. So I always want to preface, I have been a runner my whole life. And so I don't come where this topic without any experience or expertise and just trying to be mean to Anna. It's not the case. I really do think this is not what we should be teaching people about weight loss because it seems like a vanity project and not really thinking because you're not really looking like you're losing any weight girl. So what are you proving? My plan was, is I was supposed to run today, but I think I'm going to run tomorrow and okay. we'll just give it an extra day. Okay. Also, thoughts and theories. I think I maybe need to slow down to go fast. This I, is okay. Yeah. I just don't want to injure myself. And I think learning this, it's like, I don't want to go up in the amount I'm running until I feel confident that I'm running when I'm running safely. Okay. Does that, that make sense? No, that's a great plan. I, and so I was like, okay, let's not plan the 5k until I feel comfortable. Cause I feel like then I just feel like I keep pushing it out and I don't want to push it. Like I'm not trying to avoid it, mm -hmm. but I was, I, as I said to John and I'll say again, I don't want to run a race. I want to run for life. One of the biggest indicators of like your success and how you're going to do and things like that at any given race is just like, do you feel confident in yourself? Do you feel comfortable with what you're doing and like, and your training plan, right? I was working with my doctors to try to uncover what had caused me to become so inflamed but I can't deny I felt so frustrated to work so hard, but to feel even further from my goal than I was when I began. Training plans are there to be like a good guideline, especially yeah. like if you're somebody who likes structure and likes numbers and you want to like know what to do, then they're a great resource. They're also not gospel, right? You have to ensure that you're having a good diet and also 
having the right shears and switching things out. These were things that you say to your audience you learned later on and that you were already feeling some aggravation. So probably you should have taken four to six weeks off and waited for everything to calm down and then have restarted your training. So I think that you're aggravating everything, but you're determined to keep going. So keep going, girl. I'm glad you are sort of pausing a bit, but you're 12 weeks from a race. So I don't know. Let's keep going. I, I've run so many 5Ks. It just seems like a lot of drama to run a 5K. So if you have a bad week or something like that, that's fine. Right. And, but like, but again, like we said earlier, like the goal is to be as comfortable and as confident as you can be on race day. I'm being smart about myself right now. And like, it will crush me if we set a date and I don't achieve it. Even if I do everything right, if I set that date and I don't hit it, I'll be mad at myself. So I think it's better for me to say, let's just keep going and we'll see where we're at in like a month. And if we're progressing a lot and my muscles growing, you know, in line, then we're like, great, now we can schedule. But it may not be the case, so it's okay. So my plan was actually to go for a walk, maybe even a run after this session, but I'm learning to slow down to go fast. So we're gonna have a rest day because that's what my body needs. And this whole journey is about learning to listen to my body. And guess what? I'm not very good at it, but I'll get better. Well, well Anna, I don't want to be cruel. Let me keep going. Uh, Anna, I don't want to be mean, but obviously somebody who's, you know, I know that you do have lipedema and I don't know about lymphedema, but the lipedema, I understand you have. But having those risk factors means that you want to try to do everything to improve your diet and your lifestyle. And, and I understand that alcohol is one thing that you may want to abstain from since it can help, you know, aggravate with the amount of sugars it has. Uh, potentially you want to think about how you eat because all that ultra processed food is not helping. It seems that you potentially are getting heavier, not lighter. So that to me, again, you need to think about what are you eating? Um, I don't think this running here is going to help. I think just taking a day off. And I mean, in reality, I understand your exercise routine has been very light. And I mean, so this is kind of where it's funny because you kind of talked about with the Copilot app that you were working out three times a week, 15 to 20 minutes. So I just alone took my dog probably for a two hour walk yesterday at a pretty good pace um, and probably went quite a few miles. So it's sort of, um, and we do that almost every day. So it's difficult to think that, you know, how you get so inflamed when you really haven't done that much exercise. So I really think you need to get back to the beginning, maybe not think about the running, go back to the diet and start with really low impact exercises uh, pull things and things with like hand weights and stuff, sitting in a chair and go really safely. I think you um, misused whatever with that co-pilot app. One of the reasons I run in intervals is because my heart rate and running for a minute when I stop my heart rate's at 174 so the goal is to try to improve on that be able to run the same distance but not be as exerted so I just want uh did she say her heart rate was 174 uh yeah I think you need to stop for a moment girl that's literally what could be known as sinus ventricular tachycardia. Any heart rate that goes over 150 beats per minute 
is actually can be quite dangerous because you've got an increased risk of uh, a stroke or some type of cardiac event happening just because your your heart is working and pumping so quickly so that's really fast i usually your heart rate just normally is a 60 to 100 beats per minute so that's very rapid i would be very concerned i have a friend of mine who runs with me and she has like a fast heart rate tachycardia is the other term and if she gets anywhere near like gosh even 130 140 she slows down and stops and she is a much thinner person and smaller person than 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 anna here girl that's not good just saying all right i'm gonna try not to talk too much because people tell me off <laughs> and to mark the starting point life lesson that this has taught me is sometimes the easiest route is actually not the best route for you in the long run so it's gonna be hard for a while but then a lot easier in the future and forever amen <laughs>
did it again. Who told you that I was finished? Fresh off the plane with a new Manny Petty. My hair stay laid and you know I get paid. Hundred dollar bills, I got racks on the way. I'm making them big moves, I won't stay quiet. I'm slow and tired after working out. This is literally what I think hell is like, but it's all part of the process. In PT, we did a lot of exercises to make sure my glutes were activating. Does Anna suffer from PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome? I'm, I'm not trying to be nosy. I'm just curious just because she's in her, I, I want to say mid to late 30s. I think somewhere around there. Sorry. I know people have put in my comments what her age is. Comment again what Anna's age is. Um, but you she her skin it she looks like she's obviously s does have some hormonal something going on so she's very brave i guess to get on the camera um but girl no don't push through the injury that's bad advice i keep saying it today we are working on dynamically controlling flexion and extension ultimately trying to apply it into running but first using this step up exercise this would help take pressure off of my knee. And since I was coming off of a re-aggravated knee injury, this was critical. A lot of the times doing these exercises, I felt silly, but slowly I began to see my run actually improve. Do you know what it is? It's because I'm thinking, roll your foot, <laughs> roll your foot. Which again, <laughs> great for the drill. <laughs> but let the drill be the drill. You just run. I, but I, that doesn't happen with me. I know, it's I'm an hard. overthinker. I couldn't tell you which exercises did what. I just know that being consistent about them, showing up and doing them day after day, did actually begin to change the way I ran. We also worked a lot on building my power and also the actual stance in which I ran to help increase the way I would like impact the ground to move myself forward. This is trying to get your brain and your body able I just don't like her doing all the jumping. I, the jumping I'm not a fan of. I think that's just so hard on the joints. I've never personally been a fan of jumping around myself. I'll be honest. I think it's particularly hard on the knees. Uh, though, like I said, I have been a runner for an extended period of time. I definitely didn't want to do anything that could potentially uh aggravate i know there's a lot of exercise i don't know i've I just i it always makes me nervous maybe it sounds like i get older but especially for somebody like anna i just wish i could see her in a pool um i i know that they're obviously working in conjunction with her whether it's to get i don't know what the, the deal was it doesn't say it's sponsored but obviously their their logos and stuff are everywhere able to produce force faster right? In a very safe environment. I really have been prioritizing running, which has been hard, Yeah. but I'm finally seeing progress. Not that I wasn't prioritizing it before, but I'm like, different. it's different. It's like, I don't try to do it on the same day I lift because it's too much for me right now. Yeah. And then that's like, I'm destroyed after, and then I don't want to do it again. 100%. So if I do it on its own day, then it's not that bad. Michael was like, let's just get to the 5k. Let's do it. And honestly, I don't care how fast. I know that you want me to go fast, but no. I just want to, I just want to finish. I just want you to complete it without being hurt and feel yes. good about yourself. Exactly. I could honestly care less what your time is. Okay. I just want you to feel- 10K is a little bit harder because I can't get swept, so. Okay. But number one goal is like, do I feel confident doing this? And do I feel like I accomplished something versus like, yeah. I got through it, but that I didn't enjoy. I felt exhausted. I felt overwhelmed and the idea of being able to run three miles nonstop seemed further than it had ever been before. I can do this. I've done this before. So maybe that's not the best way to think about approaching your first 5K, especially if you're very nervous like Anna. My recommendation would be to say, I mean, obviously, my first is don't ever run if you're injured. I wish she would have taken time away and addressed whatever issues she was having with the knee. I want her to address the diet that she has because I think that would significantly help her with a number of her issues. The other thing that I would like to say to recommend to Miss Anna is potentially that 
she does a run walk on this first race. I, I mean, I think in the end, she just probably start doing some walking. But say to yourself, okay, I'm going to do, either you can set it as an amount of time or set it for the distance, depending on how, what works for you. And say, I'm, and a lot of people, I've had a lot of friends of mine use this technique during half marathons to, to very good success and without any, you know, harm or injury, injury and still get good, decent two hour in a little bit of a couple of extra minutes time. So they've done just as well as anybody trying to run who may have felt more pain at the end. So I think she should have, instead of just kind of being, you know, so defeatist, if you are running it, I would say go with the objection of I'm going to run it, walk it, run it, walk it. And at the end, if you feel like you've got the run at you at the very end, then run it out. But I wouldn't necessarily want to start somebody who's new with that mindset. So that is something I would change, Anna. Okay. Yes, it feels harder, but it's not impossible. It's okay to go slow. We just need to finish it. Yeah, I can do this. Still, I made myself show up, even though every time I was there, I felt like I was being completely unrealistic. But for some reason, I just kept showing up. See, she's got nothing strapped on that knee. <sighs> My stomach is in knots. I do not feel great, but we're still gonna do this. <sighs> oh, let me keep going. I was gonna say that is a common feeling. If you care about something, and honestly, Anna, I think cares about this race for her as a goal. And so you are going to feel nervous. So, so I think in reality, she really did care about this run and about this race. Uh, I think that she spent more time on the hair of things. No, I'm just teasing. She, she needed to put a knee strap on. She's still looking cute. Anna. You're looking cute girl. It's fun. I remember those early wake ups. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay. When I started this journey, I set my success as just finishing, and I'm going to stick with that. Um, I think I can do better than just finishing. I think I can probably potentially have a new like record in the speed of which I finish this distance. But I have to remind myself that like take the win where the win is. And a couple months ago, I didn't think this was possible. So just doing it is the win. And I need to be happy and excited about just doing it. That was a, that's a, that's a, uh, that's actually a pretty, maybe oh, harder than I want to admit. Sorry, guys. Oh, let me get back to Anne in the race. Hold on. I did have Anne in the race. There she is. Sorry, guys. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, I, I got a black screen behind me. Let me play this for a second. I was trying to get some. All right. I wanted to talk about the start law. Gosh, sorry. Uh, the start line looks like it wasn't a very big race. So thankfully it's not a huge race. I'm surprised that funnel was very tight. I'm glad Anna was not at the start of the funnel. That's not where you need to be, girl. The guys at the front, those, those people are insane. Keep out of their way. <laughs> a little bit of anxiety. Yeah. Do you feel that? Yeah. I feel like it's a lot harder. Than it normally is. Yeah. 
So it's just, it's the people, it's the energy, it's something different. Uh, I think I'll be really stressed and scared that I won't show enough improvement. And if I could tell myself anything, it would be just like, remember why you did this? It wasn't to, to be good at it. You did it to get back to something that made you really happy. So remember that and just have fun. Seven hours driving on the highway. Far away, far away, far away. Every moment I was spending on regrets was such a waste. Such See, they make her look like she's running in these shots here. Because if you really look at her, the poor girl next to her is trying to get like a dog. And she's like, like, <laughs> we've all done that. The poor Anna, like, just got those arms going. But they speed these shots up. So it looks like Anna really powering a run through. But she's just, she's just, she might, she's just the difference is where her arms are placed. When she feels like she's got to walk. She's got more of her arms just swinging to her side and she looks so much more downtrodden. And when she's running, she's got the little runner arms going and uh, she looks a little bit more focused. And it's not saying, it's not to be mean, but I'm just saying this shot here is, is not really truthful to people. She's, you know, it's, it's very dramatic. She's not going at this pace. even the ladies who were strolling overtook her i'm just saying she could be strolling and probably still get the same amount of accomplishment but she wants to look like she's running keep going girl go anna go i would have been on the sideline cheering you on girl i cheer everybody on Running kind of feels like flying in a lot of ways. Like it's something you always dream about and 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 want to do, but like feels impossible. And I don't know, I don't know how to explain it any other way, other than it's like the closest to flying I'll get in my day to day life. I wanted to go at 20 and I'm going at like 1930. Yep. Right now in this fall. So I'm happy with that. Yeah. You're on pace. You said you had a goal time and you're on pace to hit that goal time. You do an awesome. Looking on the city lights, flashing bright in my eyes. Look up to the sky and I got this relief. I also wish she wasn't pounding that tarmac. <laughs> That's so hard on the joints. I think you, you know, trail running can be, it's just hard. I hope she had some good road running shoes. You got this. Woo. All right, here we go. Once we hit that stop sign, that oh god, line is in sight. Okay, you know, I'm really proud of myself. This is fat, way faster than I thought I was gonna do it. Oh, 
All right. So she did a 5K, which is 3.1 miles. So she did it in 65 minutes. So if you divide five into 65, it goes 13 times. <laughs> so you could say uh, she was running at 13 minutes a kilometer. Or if you divided 65, is that correct? Is that correct? 65, no. Is that right? 65, no. 13, yes. <laughs> she ran it in 65 minutes. Sorry, I'm just doing this math off the top of my head and all my calculators are shut down. And then if we can take 65 minutes and divide that by 3.1 miles, that will give you an idea of how many minutes it took her to accomplish every mile so it technically goes in approximately three goes into six twice <laughs> oh my god i sound like an idiot and then we've got the point one i guess with that remaining five so it's like 20 it took her like 20 some minutes <laughs> that's right yeah that makes sense it's like 21 point something minutes mile there we go there's that math for you girl all oh, that schooling but yeah that's uh that's like a walk pace. I'm just gonna say that. That's all I'm gonna say. Good job, Anna. I don't want to say that the poor people who finished the race probably did it in about 16 minutes. <laughs> that's kind of where they were at. 5838. Uh, you need your time. Let's go. And I'm laughing because that's not 16 minutes a mile. That was 16 minutes to complete the entire race. <laughs> so there were some guys up there who probably finished that race anywhere from 16 to 17 minutes on a 3.1. Easily. Easily. Because they're probably doing under five minute miles. Without a doubt. I used to run under five minute miles when I was a kid. So that's not undoable to do a race like that and do it 16 to 17 minutes. Okay. It's not undoable. I certainly have used to run it around about, you know, even before I really started to retire, around 21 minutes. Sorry, Anna. The new running word of the day. Hey, you guys, more enthusiasm. Come in with it. Come in with the it. The new running word out of the day. Oh! Ah! You know, oh, she's I think still going. In my life, I've limited myself a lot idea. by being afraid to try things that I wouldn't immediately succeed at. And I think if running has taught me anything, it's taught me that there is a lot of joy and slow and steady progress. And I think we take that joy for granted and sometimes don't even acknowledge it. Uh, it's not about the big wins. It's not about the small wins. It's about showing up for yourself every day. And then when you come to do something like this, you exceed your expectations because you've put in the consistent work. If I show up for myself, I will eventually be and have the life I want again. And this is just one step there. So um, what's next for me is. Oh, wow. Okay, guys, let me get over to StreamYard. Let me stop sharing that. I'm sorry for all the technical difficulties that I seem to be uh, experiencing as I was delivering out that video. I think uh, my my computer is telling me it needs a new battery because that's usually the sign when the uh, speakers start to sound terrible. And I have been using this computer a lot between school and obviously doing uh, YouTube. But anyway, I am excited too to see what Anna will be doing next. Is she going to stay trying to be a runner or is she going to try to do something different um, exercise wise? I would like to see her not trying to continue as a runner and just do walking and just be happy as a walker and get some nice walking and focus on the diet and obviously keep up with doing anything she's been doing with uh, obviously weights and stuff. But obviously take a look at that knee. Don't exacerbate that. That's dangerous. You'll end up with an injury you may not be able to ever fix, girl. 
All right, guys. Like I said, I apologize for some of the technical difficulties. I've been trying to figure out what's been going on. I think I just have used this computer so much recently. I'm wearing out my laptop. So anyway, if you do like this uh, type of content, I would love for you to obviously subscribe. We're going to say it. We're going to make sure we just throw that out there. And uh, next time we'll see you again. All right, guys. Uh, appreciate it. And if you want to leave me a, a water bottle or some sort of sign of like water or something of that nature, uh, since Anna was out there running and I want to make sure that everybody stays hydrated. All right, guys, this is Ray. This is Life and Vibe. I don't even know if I said that part. But anyway, thank you, guys. All right, take care. Bye.